Hello, uh, my name is Mary Robinson. I was the first woman to be elected President of Ireland and then to serve as the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. So I've had a full and eventful life on the world stage, which I have talked about in my book, Everybody Matters, My Life Giving Voice. But of course, I started in a very small town in the west of Ireland, Ballina, an only girl wedged between four brothers. I had no idea what kind of life I would have. I went to Paris at the age of 17, intending to become a nun, but I went through quite a difficult process there that I would say many would identify with. And I decided to study law and to use law as an instrument for social change. I was lucky enough to go to the Harvard Law School uh, during a very eventful time in the United States. The war in Vietnam was on, Martin Luther King was assassinated during that year. And just after I graduated, Robert Kennedy uh, was killed. So these had a huge effect on me. Going back to Ireland, I became a senator at the age of 25 and took a number of landmark cases in the Irish courts and in the Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg and the Court of the European Union uh, that addressed issues of discrimination, civil legal aid, um, legalizing homosexuality. Despite this record of liberal causes, uh, I was elected President of Ireland in 1990 and served for seven years during which the Irish economy grew, during which I was able as President of Ireland to reach out globally to put a light in the window for all of those who had to emigrate from Ireland. But the story is also about the struggles that I had, the personal struggles, the personal difficulties, and it's meant to be really encouraging. I talk about the fact that as a young girl, I was shy and I'm still quite reserved, but I wanted to be able to communicate and advocate in public, so I forced myself to debate. And so there are intimate details of that kind that I think people will identify with. There's also quite a lot of humor because being Irish, I do have a good sense of humor and I like to tell a story. And I've done my best to tell the story of my life so that it will encourage that everybody can make a difference. And I think also that values matter because human rights have meant a great deal to me and they are part of the purpose of this book. It's not a full autobiography. It is a memoir and a memoir to purpose. My story is one that is, I think, very encouraging for others. Who would have thought that a girl growing up in a non-political family in a small town in the west of Ireland would become president of our country, would become high commissioner? I want to encourage girls in particular, but actually uh, young people and not so young, uh, to believe in their potential. I, I really believe that we need the engagement of people, and it's an optimistic book.